ocean, known for its beauty of its natural landscape, high biodiversity, rich resources, important history, cultural wealth, and friendly people. Welcome to Sri Lanka. And today we are going to explore about the sea turtles in Sri Lanka. The majestic appearance and gentle nature of sea turtles make them a favorite of divers and swimmers worldwide. These impressive animals effortlessly glide through the ocean waters like something out of a dream. There are seven known species of turtles and five of these are found off the coast of Sri Lanka. The bones of the sea turtles can tell their life histories. There are animal rings inside the humerus bones of their flippers. These animal rings contain chemical markers that can reflect what the turtle was eating, its age and its habitat during each year of its life. Sea turtles cannot breathe underwater. They periodically return to the surface for air. However, when they are resting, sea turtles can hold their breath for four to seven hours at a time. Sea turtles have been like mouths that they use to grasp and tear food floating through the ocean water. They do not have any teeth, but their beaks are very sharp. And made of keratin, the same material that makes up a fingernail. Most sea turtles eat jellyfish, but each species hunt different prey. Sea turtles have magnetite particles in their brains which likely help them to orient to the Earth's magnetic poles like a compass. For example, sea turtles will return to the same beach where she hatched to lay her eggs using her built-in GPS navigation. Baby sea turtles imprint on the specific magnetic signature of the beach where they hatch. Decades later, female sea turtles use this magnetic map to guide them back to the same beach to lay their eggs. Although they were once abundant throughout the Earth's oceans, all the seven turtle species are now in danger of becoming extinct due to human-related activities. They are an important part of the marine ecosystem. It is crucial to protect these species from human activities to maintain a healthy marine ecosystem. Although sea turtles are facing a critical point in history, there are several centers that rescue these innocent sea turtles. And we are here to explore the Sea Turtle Research and Conservation Centre in Sri Lanka. We are here in Ahungala Sea Turtle Research and Conservation Centre. Come, let's go. The mouth of the sea turtle is the entrance. One of our friends is here with us today. Sri Lanka is home to five out of the seven species of sea turtle. They are olive red leaf turtle, green turtle, hawksbill turtle, loggerhead turtle, and leatherback turtle. Look at the model of the leatherback sea turtle. The leatherback turtle is the largest of all sea turtles and it can weigh up to 900 kilograms. 
It is unique among sea turtles as it is a leather pack which has a soft shell. These sea turtle eggs are being preserved using chemicals in this water. It's like pom pom balls. Sea turtle center removes sea turtle eggs from the original nesting site and relocate them in order to increase the eggs hatching successfully. The center volunteers carefully collect the eggs from the nesting site and bring them to the center. And then they dig a hole in the sand is roughly 2 feet deep and 2 to 3 feet wide. Once the hole is dug, they may also add a layer of clean sand to the bottom of the hole to provide a soft bed for the eggs. Once the eggs are placed in the nest, the staff carefully cover the hole with sand. This area is usually fenced off to keep predators such as birds traps to prevent from eating the eggs. The eggs are monitored until they hatch, which can last from 45 to 70 days, depending on the species of sea turtles. Once the baby turtle hatches, they are kept in a special time until they are strong enough to be released into the ocean. When the turtles are ready to be released, they are taken to the beach and released into the ocean. This turtle has a disease called leucism. Leucism is an abnormal genetic defect. Most sea turtles get entangled in fishing nets and get their flippers cut. For these reasons, these turtles cannot go deeper in the ocean, so they eat whatever they find in the shallow water. When this turtle eats polythene and other harmful substances, unknowingly it affects the turtle's health and leads to disease. That's so sad guys. Next time, if you are at the beach and see some trash being thrown, please pick it up as it can save a turtle's life. Thankfully, they are doing well now as the people in the center are taking very good care of them. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe.